Hi, everyone, and welcome along to the Learn to Trade online show for today. The uh, the 12th of February, 2024, it's great to have your company as we get into February. And always an exciting show for us because we have a winner. Um, our trader from last week uh, took um, Ashes Trade. Ashes Trade has gone on and won. And as such, she gets half of the half. That's all she did. She came into the Zoom. She told us she wanted Ashes Trade. She's going to get half of the jackpot, which is 750 bucks, which leaves 750 bucks for today. But not only that, uh, up another 250, so we'll have another thousand dollars to go today. So 750 already gone, another thousand to go. You've got a chance to win this. All you need to do is jump into the Zoom and uh, put your name in. We ask you to, and uh, either pick a trade and get the full jackpot, or steal a trade, should you wish to. Anyway, my name is uh, my name is Paul Botchel. I'm the founder of Accents to Wealth and Online Trading Profits. Hi guys, welcome to the show. My name is Simon Williams. I am a crypto trader and crypto investor. Hello guys, uh, uh, happy new year, happy Chinese new year to, to uh, anybody in that uh, area of the world. Very exciting. I went, went to a little Chinese uh, dragon dance yesterday. It was brilliant. Um, my name's Ash and I am a professional investor and trader. So what have we got for the Zoom today, mate? I see some names in today. This is looking good. Yeah. Yeah, mate, we've got some people in, in the Zoom. So, again, I'll run real quickly for you guys. To win the prize, you've got to get in the Zoom. You've got to put your name in when we ask you to. We'll put on the wheel of names. And if your name comes out, you can either place your own trade or you can steal one of our trades. If you place your own trade and beat us in a week, then you'll get the full um, $1,000 prize. And if you take steal a trade and beat us in a week, you will get 500 bucks. Now, last week, we picked a guy out and he wasn't prepared to come on camera and microphone, and I think that might have cost him seven hundred and fifty Singapore dollars. I think we're well, not yet reason. We'll let you know when. We will let you know when. But I think that might have cost him seven hundred and fifty bucks. So if you're in there, be prepared to come uh, on and um, and uh, give us your name and uh, and let us know what you want. Now, one thing we are going to do, and we're going to for the last time this time. I don't think our winners in the room. It's Chinese New Year, and we're going to let her win. But in future. You've got to come back for the win, right? You, you, they've got to come back, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you, you, you revel in the uh, in the success of it as well. You know, it's uh, it's quite nice. I mean, we want to give the money to somebody, don't we? I mean, we actually want to give it to a person, and uh, and not just the name. New people in the room this week, they're going to have no affiliation with what happened last week at, uh, at all. So, yeah, absolutely, you've got to come back next week if you win. Uh, fantastic guys lots of guys putting their name in the chat already we'll let you know when to put your name in the chat you don't need to do it just yet we will let you let you know when now um so the the uh prize pool this week is going to be one thousand dollars guys for mine for the first time this year some encouraging signs in the market a little bit of move in the swiss sea the aussie continues to push down a little bit it's just this that the u.s stock markets continue to push up it's just a little more exciting for me how about you guys um, oh, do you know what? Interestingly, mate, and this is this is sort of indicative of uh, of people's different styles. I really struggled this week to find some uh, some some genuine signs that I could uh, I could gravitate towards. I think the CPI data, actually, from quite a few countries, we've got a lot of inflation data this week, but particularly from the United States, is pivotal. Everybody's waiting for a sign that the Fed are going to pivot. Is this it? And every week, it's it's the next thing. And I think this week, obviously, everybody focuses on CPI data. If CPI data comes in weak, then obviously, then the narrative starts again. We're going to get a pivot. Pivot's coming. It's just about when. So um, the uh, yeah, it's the, the the focus this week is going to be on that CPI data. Can it start to ease down and get speculators more excited about a potential reversal in the uh, the the um, sentiment of the Fed? Any thoughts, Simon? Uh, only crypto thoughts, mate, after watching uh, Bitcoin put in a 14% move last week. Just looking at the chart now, um, 50 grand coming this week, right? <laughs> it's coming this week. 14% last week. Why, why did it, well, actually, you're some education. Though. You can tell us about why it's coming uh, 14% uh, a little bit later on, if that's okay. Look, um, let's get into um, our trades for this week. Um, Ash, can you put, uh, what's your trade for today? 
So uh, I, I have to say, I, I quite like the trade, but uh, but when I picked it, it was um, it was a while ago, and uh, and unfortunately, the market has moved on me, and I don't love the price as much as I did. I am going for the Swiss yen this week. Now, as I say, I didn't really find too much in the way of difference when it came down to some of the data. The, 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 the most notable was probably the, the, um, the, the Kiwi because of the COT data, but seasonals and fundamentals didn't back that up. The reason I continue to be bearish on the Swissy is because the Swissy has been on a tear ever since um, interest rates have been going higher across the globe. Now, if that narrative is about to change, it makes sense to me that people then start to reverse their fortune and their speculation on the Swissy. I'm going against the yen because actually when I picked it, the price was, was, was better than it is now. But I still quite like it. When you look at this chart here, daily chart, we've got resistance from above. We've got a support level from down here, which has now been broken. And we're starting to put in this, um, you know, a, a pretty bearish move. CPI data also from Switzerland uh, later tomorrow. And that is going to be pivotal for, um, for the Swiss franc. So I don't particularly like the yen, but I do like some downside with the Swissy after the bullish move that we've seen, not for a week, not for a month, for a number of months and going into a couple of years. So uh, Swiss yen short for me this week, mate. Fantastic, mate. Swiss yen short is in there already. What we're going to do, mate, is in a minute. We're going to ask Simon for his trade, and then we're going to have a talk with our contestant from last week and see if she knows how it went. So we'll get uh, Chin Chai on the uh, on the um, microphone and uh, and on the camera. We've got lots of people in the room, so we'll ask you in a few minutes to put your names in. We'll do Simon's trade. We'll talk to Chin Chai. We'll do my trade. We'll get you guys to put your names in so you guys can win the money next week. Over to you, Simon. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, mate. I am. And this week, I am purely, purely going on technicals. I, I'm going to go Aussie dollar long. A quick look at the Dixie, um, which I've been, uh, which I track every day, obviously, because I'm, I'm a Bitcoin guy. So tracking the dollar is number one on my list. Um, I love this weekly. Uh, this is the weekly chart. I love this weekly uh, high test bar here last week, um, which bounced off the 104 level. This 104 levels. Been, been been the level I've been looking at for quite a while now. We're also top of this channel. So we came out of this channel. We've used the bottom of this channel for resistance for the last, what, year? We popped back up inside, created the top. We've come back down to retest the top of that channel. And now we're back at the top. We're back at the top. We've got a high test bar. We're at the 618. If I put a Fibonacci on the top here, run it down to the bottom here, that red line at the bottom is the 618. It's almost to the pip. Um, so I want to be short the dollar. If I flip over to, to Aussie US dollar, we've got the absolute reverse of that. In that, let me squeeze that out. Let me get rid of that and make it bigger. Um, same kind of channel, but the, the, this time we've got this, this trend line. There. This, is a week, this is also a weekly chart. Back to April 22. We've crept down. We've gone back above it. We've hit the top of the channel, which was created right back here in 2021. We've popped back down and we're now sat on the top of this trend line. Also at the six one, the, the six one eight fib. If I put a, a fib tool on the bottom here, drag it to the top, bring it down. We've reversed exactly at that point, exactly at this level, exactly at that trend line, and exactly at six one eight. So for I'm not even going to look at the seasonals because I don't like the look of them. But for a technical, technical on a technical basis on a weekly chart, I want to be long Aussie dollar. Loving that, mate. Lo love the inverted head and shoulders there as well on the weekly. Yeah. And we're right and we're testing right on that right shoulder as well. So great place to get in. Loving that. Nice uh, trade, Simon. Now we're going to see if Chin Chow can come on and have a chat with us. We should have her there. I can see her in. Yeah, hey, Chin Chow, how are you? Can we get you? There we go. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Where did you go? Yeah. <laughs> did you know how you went? Sorry again. Do you know how you went? Did you know? Do you know how your trade went? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, last week you came on the on the on the uh, show. You put your name in the box. We drew it out. You yep. came and said you wanted to steal Ash's trade. Yep. Ash's trade won. So you'll win half the jackpot, seven hundred and fifty Singapore dollars, coming your way when James gets back to work tomorrow. So congratulations. What are you going to spend okay. the money? on? Well done, Chin Chow. Good work. Thank you. 
Uh, what were you spending the money on? As I mentioned last week, I'm going to put it into my trading account. Oh, put it in your trading account, make it some more. We'll see if you can win a game this week, eh, Tim Chow. If you want to win, the same as everybody else, now's the time. If you're in the Zoom, can you put your name in the chat? All you've got to do is put your name in the chat now, and uh, we will have Kim pull those names out from now and uh, put them in the Wheel of Fortune in a few minutes so you get a chance to win. Well done, Chin Chow. Great stuff. Always lovely to, see, to send some money your way. I love it. Put it in the uh, trade Put it in the trade account. Make some more money from it. I do love that. And boys, that is easy money, isn't it? You turn oh, up, you steal ashes trades, you have 750 bucks. That is easy money. Thank you, Chin Chow. Well done. Yeah, no, thank you on. so much. Oh, indeed, our pleasure. We'll be in touch tomorrow. James is on leave today for Chinese New Year. Um, my trade, I'm going to go, um, uh, I guess in some ways a bit different and in some ways a bit similar. So if I can get rid of that. I'm going to go, um, I'm into um, Aussie New Zealand uh, short. And the reason for Aussie New Zealand short for mine is just because we've seen this nice 200-day moving average bounces off the uh, Aussie New Zealand and a nice move down. But what's really on my mind at the moment there's these, these last couple of days, these banks in New Zealand coming out saying, hey, numbers are coming in a bit high, and we think there'll be interest rate rises in New Zealand in February and April. So Reserve Bank of New Zealand reports on the 28th of February, and the largest bank in New Zealand is predicting an interest rate rise. And that has come out of the blue in New Zealand. No one was expecting that. But when you read the Reserve Bank statement from the last one, there's a real chance we're going to see it. And uh, we would expect, we would expect that... Um, if we see interest rate, interest rate rises in the New Zealand dollar, we may see some New Zealand dollar strength. And I think this move here has been a reaction to that ANZ Bank announcement last week that they think that interest rate rises are going to come. And look, it's really important to you. So I will go Australian New Zealand dollar short. I'll put that trade on in a few minutes. I'm going to jump out of my screen. Look, guys, girls, everyone, two things I'd keep an eye on if I was um, Forex trading this week. I really would. Reserve Bank of New Zealand leads the world often. It was the first bank to start putting interest rates up. It was the first bank to stop to, to stop putting interest rates up. If interest rates go back up in New Zealand, the world will notice that because RBNZ often leads. I'd be watching that, but what I'd be really watching for markets this week, I think it's unlikely. But if the Supreme Court says Donald Trump can't run for president, markets will be everywhere. Now, it's not the move you expect that moves the market that catches you. It's the move you don't expect. Now, the media thought that uh, the Supreme Court judges drilled both sides, but they'd lean Trump's way. The market is not expecting a Trump disqualification. But by the letter of the law, they might get one. I'm not saying they will. I'm saying they might. And boy, oh boy, if they do, this market's gone. And I can't even tell you where. It's just gone. So... Mm -hmm. um. I'd be keeping an eye on risk this week because I'm worried about volatility because volatility could go absolutely nuts. Right here, as I said, I can see lots of names in there. Look at that. I can see lots of names in there. Uh, people from all over the place. We've got people from the UK, people from the Philippines, people from Singapore. We've got people from Australia all putting their names in the chat. We're going to have a bunch of names in. Look, it appears that Tim Chow made 750 bucks last week and it was just too easy and lots of other people want to have a go. If you're in the Zoom, Put your name in the chat. If you're not in the Zoom, get in the Zoom. Um, that's all you got to do to make the money. And remember, you, all you have to do is come on camera and microphone and say, I want to steal someone's trade. If you've no idea what else to do, come on and steal one of our trades. And if you know what to do, take your own trade and go for all the money. Look, guys, our, our trades are on. They are um, getting ready. Why don't we come to Ash to do education? Then we'll do the World of Names with Kim. And then Simon with education, then we'll have the guest trade. Fantastic. Over to you. Okay, so uh, today we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a a chart pattern that doesn't appear that often, and it is the uh, three bar reversal. Uh, and it's a four bar, so it's three three bar um, short, three bar reversal, and then one bar long. And you see at the bottom end of these trends here. And the idea is that you get two consecutive lows. You've got to have at least two consecutive lows, which we see the first bar. This is bar one. This is bar two. This is bar three. So three bar low there. And then this third bar, sorry, the fourth bar has to be taking out the high of the very, very first bar. The measured move on this particular um, uh, pattern is going to be the length of 
all of the bars. So from high to low, it is the size of, of all of the bars. And then if we go up, we, we're going to be try, trying to put our position on at the top end or in a breaking out of the top end of bar four, stops at the lows, and then looking to take some uh, some money or out of the market um, on, the, uh, on a one-to-one -one level. So you can see that there was actually a pause here after it did actually break out. Um, these aren't very common. But it is the three bar low and uh, three bar low reversal, uh, this four bar pattern here. And you can find this one on gold if you want to have a look at it. Gold in uh, uh, on the 5th of October is what I'm looking at here, 2023. Wow. Well, oh, like yeah, I do too. No problem. Rightio, Kim, are you ready? Can you come in and can we do the wheel of names, please? Can we see of all those people that put their names in that chat? Can we get them on? Hey, Kim, how you doing? Hi, hi, hi everyone. Hi, Kim. Hi. Hi. Welcome in. <laughs> happy Chinese New Year. Happy, yes, Chinese, happy Chinese New Year. Year. <laughs> okay, let me get your will of names. Oh, I can't even say anymore. Let's go, Kim. So, we got... All right. A few names in there, right? Let's spin this wheel of names and see who we get. That's more like it. Rimaran, we're going to invite you to come on in the chat in a few minutes. We will allow you camera and microphone. We're going to do um, Simon's education. We're going to come on, Rimaran. You need to come on camera and tell us what you want to do. If you do, they get a place to trade. Rimaran's already chatting in there, telling us he's on his way. So we'll get Rimaran in. And thank you to everybody who came Brilliant. in. Remember to join us next week. We've got another chance to win more money and another chance the week after and another chance the week after and another chance the week after to make some more money. Simon, 14% um, in Bitcoin for the week. That's encouraging, isn't it? It is encouraging. Lots of uh, lots of big inflows last week from, from the big ETF guys and the, um, the Grayscale Trust that was offloading um, billions and billions and top of dollars a day has finally slowed up. So I think that's where that move came from. Um, however, what I want to talk about this week, if I can share my screen, is two. You remember two weeks ago we uh, we did it live on on the show and we bought some some Tao. So Tao mm. is my my number one, if you like, altcoin pick for for the next year or two, and we bought at market we bought some and what we're going to do today is we're just going to show you here it is here we bought it we bought six six thirty four of them we bought at 433 dollars last price is 560 odd i think we're up about 29 30 percent on that in the last two weeks so that was a good little buy let me just move you guys over there what we're going to do is we're just going to show i'm going to show you guys how um how you would then um, take this off the exchange because you don't want to leave it on an exchange. You want to put it in a wallet. And up here, we've got a, a Tau wallet that we downloaded. I'll come back to that in a minute. But first, um, we need to withdraw that Tau, Tao or Tau, whatever you want to call it, from this exchange. So we're going to hit this withdraw button here. We're going to go to wallet. We're going to go to withdraw. We're going to get a really slow internet. Um, we're going to select the crypto we want to withdraw. We can see in here, I've already got it in there because I've withdrawn before. Um, that's a little reminder telling you, you know, make sure what you're doing is is, is correct and you're on the cor correct website. Well, we know we are. We're on the, the MEX exchange. Um, now, before, you, before you'd withdraw your, your tail, you'd want to... You, let me just pull this screen down a bit. You would want to um, uh, make sure you've got a wallet to withdraw it to, right? You've got to have somewhere to somewhere to park your tokens. So the site for that, and it's the only site you can go to, is the bitensil.com forward slash wallet site. You don't want to go anywhere else. You might find some scammers adding an extra S in here, and they, it might look exactly like you want it to look. You just want to make sure you are on the right site. You've got to download a, ta a, ta a Tao wallet from here. When you download it here, it's going to ask you for a 12 word seed phrase that seed phrase is the keys to your wallet if you lose that seed phrase you lose your wallet so that's absolutely critical make sure you do not lose that seed phrase i write mine down i'm not telling you where i write them but you'd have to rip a kitchen out to find mine <laughs> Just, <laughs> you know. um and you save your wallet up here in the, in the extension and the browser extension there's mine there it's a t so if i hit my t 
I'm already signed in with a password, so mine will just open straight up. You can see I've got 30, 30 Tao in there. There's my wallet address. If I copy that address, go back to the exchange, back to where we were going to withdraw it. So there's my towel, there's my withdraw button. Manage my addresses. I don't need to do that. It's already in there. I've saved my, my towel wallet address in there. So I can I can paste it in there if I have if I hadn't saved it. There's the paste, that's the address. And what I would do before I transferred all six is I would just send one or, or 0.5 or just, just something to make sure that it gets there. One's going to be the minimum by the looks of it. Okay, whatever, whatever it is, doesn't matter in incorrect format. What we would then do, you can you can fill this in if you want to, it's just for your own benefit. Um, and then we would submit. That's that, that's all of them. 6.34. I'm going to submit that. I'm going to stop in a minute and we're going to show you how to stake next week. So what you would do here, you get a code sent to your email, you get a uh, uh, an authenticator code sent to your Google Authenticator, if you've got one or what other authenticator you've got, um, to get those codes, stick them in, stick both codes in, press submit, and that would send the amount of Tao that you sent to your wallet. It would happen really quickly. It shows you the, show, it shows you the chain, the blockchain, shows you the progress, tells you exactly when it's got there. When it's got there, you'll see it in this wallet. We didn't send it, so it's not there. Next week, we'll send it, or I'll send it this week. And what we'll do next week is we'll stake it. I'll show you next week how we're going to stake all of these 30 Tao or 36 as it will be next week. We'll save that for next week. Nice work, well, mate. Simon, 30% in two weeks. Pretty pleased with that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm more pleased with the $40 one I bought six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, wow. Good news the ETFs are buying, right? Because they're not going to sell. Correct. They're not retail guys that are going to get crashed out of this in a hurry. They'll they'll hang in the market, right? They'll take a lot of convincing to get out once they're in. Okay, awesome stuff. And um, one of the things, Simon, we're doing that because you buy the coins on an exchange and you get them into your wallet. You don't leave them on the exchange because exchanges can do weird things. Buy them on the exchange, get them into your wallet because your wallet's safe. As long as you keep that seed phrase, your wallet's safe, right? That's correct. And then I want to transfer them onto a hard wallet, but we can do that another week. Awesome. Now, guys, we have got a winner, and uh, we're going to um, – he should be ready to come in and have a chat with us. Is he on camera and on microphone, Sam? We've got our, got our winner ready to come in. Imran, are you with us? Come on, mate. Don't give it up. You've said yes, but I, I need you on. Here we go. I need you on mic and on camera. Hello. Cameron, how you doing? Oh, there could be a chance here for somebody. Cameron, <laughs> if you want to place your trade, you've got to come on camera. You've got to, here you go. There's Hello. you. Hi, yeah, how are you? you? Welcome. Yeah. Congratulations. I had some technical problem earlier on. Yes. Hi. Hi, don't worry. I, I have one of those every time I go on my, on my computer. Congratulations. Welcome in. Now, you know the deal. You've got a choice here. There's a $1,000 prize today. If you pick your own trade and you beat our trade in a week, Give a thousand dollars. If you steal one of our trades and you win, you get five hundred dollars. What are you doing this week? Uh well, actually, this is my first time being here, so I just want to see how it works in the first place. Uh, I okay. have no clue on what is being done, what will be done go moving forward as well. So I want to see how the trading works in the first place. Okay. Do, do you want to win yeah. the prize? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> you've got to say. Then you've got to say one of our names. Either Paul, Ash, or Simon. Pick one of us, and you're going to steal our trade. Okay. Okay. Uh maybe I don't want to steal any trade for now. Maybe I'll be an audience for today. Uh, maybe it gives chance to some other people. Don't who might do want it. Get... You, you, do you know what, Kumaran? Right, you put no, your name Kumaran, in. Kumaran, thank you very much. We're going to go back to the wheel of names in a minute. We're going to oh. do another draw. Thank you very much for joining us. Sure, We've sure. Off no Kumaran. Kumaran, if, if you don't want to do it, it's okay. What we're yeah. going to do is while we're waiting for um him to get the wheel of uh, Kim, are we ready with the wheel of names to go again? We do need a second. Yeah, oh, sure. Do... Yeah, please proceed. Yes, thank you, Kumar. Thank you. Hi. 
are we gonna do a respin? With a little yeah. respin, yeah. Okay. All right, hold on. Put that background camera. Can you hear it looking marvelous? There's a bit of glare around it at the moment. I'll put that background out so we can see it more clearly. List of the will of names. Is Tin Chow back in for another go this week? I don't see a name there. No. Righty oh, let's spin it. Um, let's get somebody who does want to win 700 for if you can say a name to win 700, 500 bucks. Okay, H, you're our man today. If you don't come on and don't do it, we're going to have a jackpot on next week. So we need you in. Uh, Kim and Sam are going to reach out to you while we do uh, sports bets. Simon, what's your sports bet? Oh, me first this week, hey? Okay, let, first of all, can we talk about last week? Because <laughs> I got an absolute whopper in last week. The, the four ball that we all laughed at, what I laughed at too, <laughs> all came in. Man City, Liverpool, Leeds, Southampton, Got my uh, got my a point eight five return on that one, so that was that was nice. Um, well done, mate. This week I'm trying to keep it a little bit a little bit uh, toned down. I've just got Leicester and West Brom Tuesday night in the in the in the Championship as a straight double. My hundred pound bet pays ninety six pounds if it comes in. That's Leicester at home, West Brom at home, both going great in the Championship. Leicester, West Brom just popped into the top five. Leicester just do not get beat at home. That's the winner. Yeah, mate, Leicester look a certainty, don't they? One for one, and that looks pretty good money for my mate. Leicester, um... Did somebody turn the recording off? Okay, it looks like we're back. Um, yeah, Leicester look pretty good, don't they? Um, what's going on with the recording, guys? Can someone um, turn it back on? And uh, radio. So let's get to Ash. Ash, what's your sports bet? Okay, my sports bet. So, you know, as we are talking about last week, I managed to pull a winner from the Kansas City Chiefs pin San Francisco. But I have to say, it was tight. Went to overtime. Mahomes just about pulled it out the bag right at the end, got the touchdown, and uh, and the Chiefs won it in overtime. It was an amazing game, absolutely brilliant. So uh, I would encourage anybody to watch it because it, it was probably won't be as tense the second time round. Now you know the result, but. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But this week, I am going uh, because there's no American football now, not until um, uh, October, November this year. So I've got to wait now for my favourite sport. So I'm going back to the Premier League and I'm going for a double. Tottenham to beat Wolverhampton. Tottenham are getting their players back now. We're getting Madison back. Um, uh, um, 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 uh, can't, can't remember. Son is back. Son is back as well. Um, so uh, we've, we've got uh, a full quota and we are looking good. So Tottenham to win at home against Wolverhampton and Arsenal trouncing West Ham last week. They look like title contenders. They're going to beat Burnley, I think, at a canter. So I'm going for the double on that. And uh, and if you do the calculations, it pays just over uh, one to one. So it's uh, just, just better than an even money bet. Uh, Tottenham and Arsenal win double. It's a great bet. I love oh, that. Oh, but we'll start recording our. Yeah, I like the beat. I am. Hey, what, Ash? That was a great ball from Song, wasn't it, to beat Brighton? Oh, yeah, Joe. Yeah, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Just coming off the bench. You know, yeah. everybody would have expected him that, to be a bit rusty. Left foot as well, you know. Just pinpoint. They, they were brilliant. That, that game, that game, that Tottenham Brighton game, I mean, it's one for the purists, right? The two best footballing sides in the Premier League. And I, I watched it. Right. This stick and I watched it, and it was absolutely fantastic to watch as a spectacle. Fabulous football. The, Tottenham are great to watch, they're really good to watch. Oh, you know? we, and so, Brighton, Brighton you're right. Tottenham are great yeah, to watch right. as well. So, about a month yeah. ago, when they started losing to everybody, um, they're the two best teams to watch. Yeah, yeah, I reckon, I reckon that's fair, mate. So, um, Simon won, Ash won, and I won my sports bet. Um, actually, let's get to um, before I do my sports bet, let's get out of Ash's screen share. Let's get to Har and see if he's going to place a trade. Let's see if we've got someone who wants to place a trade. Do we have Har on, Sam? Nobody wants I don't to have Har on. I'm going to do my sports bit. I'm going to go back to, to um We're going to keep you guys a bit longer because we're going to go back to and do one more chance at this. Nobody wants to win the money this week. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to message from Tinchao again. Have you got under a different name, Tinchao? Are, are you the one that's coming in again? Um, give it to me. 
Uh, guys, do we know where Har is? If we don't know where Har is, I'm going to do my sports bit. We're going to roll the Apex. Can we ready to go again? Can you do it again straight away, Kim? Can we roll the Wheel of Fortune? Nobody wants the money. What's going on in the world? Nobody wants the money. <laughs> All right. Let's do a re re spin. So <laughs> hold on. A re re spin. First double spin we've ever had, isn't it? Definitely the first triple. That's what I mean. Yep. Sorry, double. <laughs> Come on, John Cook. Ooh. Oh, it's close. That is I know close. Ed's coming on. And I'm going to do my sports bit. And then you're going to come in and you are going to give us your, your, your trade and you're going to see if you can make some money this week because we love it when people make some money in our in our shows. Now, I am going to go... Ooh. Oh, I'm going to go for T cricket. So I'm going to uh, jump back here and get into that. Bring up Cheers Cricket. And look, I, I agonized over this. I really did. I really want to take England, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take India for the win. But I'm going to take India for the win for those that follow cricket. I'm going to take India for the win because England's number one spinner is now Alex is out for the series. And I think that little young leggy, I think he could win them a game with the ball, but he's not bowling that well right now. So he's not looking like winning them a game with the ball right now. And, um, Coming back into that Indian side is a guy called Siraj, and um, he's going to take some wickets. He is a good bowler. Him and Bumrah together, even in Indian circumstances, um, and KL Rahul back into the middle order. Even though they're without the great man, I'm going to go with um, India. It's going to pay a forty, so it's still not uh, huge odds for me or anything. But um, I'm going to put my normal fifty bucks on. Virat's not back. No, honestly, I, I don't want to say on a show what's going on, but Virat's um, uh, due another child and there's some problems. Oh, right. Okay. And he won't be back, I don't think. He won't be back in the series at this point. Personal issues. Now, I'm just trying to go take my money. I'm not quite sure why it won't take my money. I'll do this. I'll come back and do this uh, when, we're, when we're done just because it's being a bit of a dick. It won't take my money. It's unlike uh, the TAB and you can't take my money. They, they don't mind it at all. Um, okay, I'll come back and do that in a little while. I'll work out why it hasn't, uh, why it hasn't uh, worked. And uh, We can see a place bet right on the bottom. But, uh, is that what you have to click? I got sorry, mate. I've got something over the top of it, haven't I? That's all it is, mate. Yeah, well, there we go. We're done. So, uh, sports best friend and Kim. Now, now that we we all won, we're going to start tracking it from uh, this week. The week just gone because we all won that week, so we'll keep track of it from there. Now, I'm going to jump out of this, and we're going to find Anne. How are you? Yay! Hi, can you hear me? Can can hear? Can you come on camera with me, Anne? Come on, Anne. Come on, camera. Come on. Don't do this to me. I literally did a yeah. coaching call. Hey, hey Anne. <laughs> so, Anne, you put your name in the chat. We drew it out. We've got a $1,000 uh, thing today, a $1,000 jackpot. So you can choose. You can take your own trade, and if you beat us, win $1,000, or you can steal one of our trades, and if it wins, you make $500. What are you going to do today? Hmm. I'm sharing all the three uh, choices, especially as uh, short Swissy Yen is also my pending order. Mm -hmm. I remember what you said. You know, that is my own, which is uh, Long Aussie Swissy. Long Aussie Swissy. Yeah. Long Aussie Swissy. Which is Swissy. a misconception of the case. Sorry, I'm right. It's not coming through that clear, but you're going Long Aussie Swiss, right? Yes, yes. And yeah. if that trade wins next week, you will get a thousand Singapore dollars. So you can take to Bali and spend when you're over on our trading extravaganza if you uh, if you win today. Eh? Um, like thank it. you very much for joining us. And guys, thank I think you. we're done, aren't we? I like I it. think we are. Yeah. Good luck, Anne. Good luck. Good yeah. Luck. Great, great show, guys. Lo loving the uh, the uh, crypto information as well, Sai. 
interested in the, in that uh, in that particular token. I need a better price, but I need I'm interested in the token. <laughs> Long on yeah. this right, Sam. Can you put the uh, account details in so they can monitor these um, trades? Long Aussie Swiss, right? Yeah. It is in. All trades are in. And a um, couple of audience blue, even with the spreads gone already. Uh, Sam, can you put the link in so they can watch those trades? If they want to watch them live, there's a, uh, a link from James, a message to go in. Sam, can you post that in the chat before we say goodbye? Um Guys, we don't like going over our sort of 25 to 30 minutes. So we are, but over today, I do apologize for that. We had three people come in and play this trade. We had a winner. It's been a great show. Hopefully, there's been um, some good learning for you as well. Some of that crypto stuff. Some of the reasons we take our trades. Hope you're learning and getting better. Remember, look after your capital. And I am worried about the next two weeks. Just watch out for that Supreme Court ruling. I expect it's going to be okay. But no one knows. And that's the kind of news that mucks markets around. And that New Zealand dollar, if that Reserve Bank does put interest rates up, that'll also bring a little bit of caution to the market. It really will. See you all next week. We'll be back. Same bat time, same bat channel.